wake up in the morning, what, what motivates you? When your eyes open for the first time in the morning, what, what motivates you? What drives you forward? What pulls you into your day? Is it money? Is it ambition? Is it fear? What is it? It's good to stop and think about what motivates us sometimes. What is the paradigm, the lens through which we're looking at our lives? I think for the Christian, in modern Christians in many ways, have sort of adopted that sort of worldly way of looking at things. There's nothing wrong with being ambitious. There's nothing wrong with needing to pay the bills, of course. But when that becomes our sole motivator, when that becomes the, the thing that we live for, I think we begin to miss out on the life that God's called us to live. So I want to offer you three things that I think will help us refocus and recenter our lives in a very positive way. The first thing I think we need to focus on is gratitude. Being thankful, being thankful for the people in our lives, being thankful for what God has done in our lives. I mean, your list will be different than my list. There'll probably be some commonality, but by and large, you've got to, to look at your life and see where God has worked. Oftentimes, making a list or, or an in, taking an inventory of the things of which we are grateful, we'll see how God has worked in our lives that we, we had missed previously because we hadn't taken time to reflect. So live a life of gratitude. Let that be one of your primary motivators. Another thing I think that we really need to focus on, again, is humility. And now, as C.S. Lewis said, humility is not thinking less of ourselves. It's just thinking of ourselves less. And this isn't encouraged in the world around us today by any stretch. We are taught to think of ourselves first, you know, to take care of number one. But the Christian's call and the call of the Christian community is, is one of looking out after one another, of, of humbling ourselves. And I think that in a great way we can focus on humbling ourselves and let that be a motivator for living our lives the way that we're called to live. And lastly, I think we need to focus on faith again to truly focus on not just what we believe, but how we live, to understand that faith is meant to be an integration of our beliefs and our actions. And I think that when we are consistent with that, our faith begins to take really strong roots in our lives and begins to display itself in a wonderful way to the world around us. So focus on these three things as your primary motivators. Focus on gratitude, humility, and faith.